Hi, my name is Michael. Uh, it is Monday, July 14th. I wrote 1,126 words today. It was nice coming back to the library novel with a fresh start. And by fresh start, I mean picking up exactly where I left off and just continuing the scene. So not, not a fresh start, actually. Not even at all what that means. A fresh start from a writing good more often and more better perspective. Maybe that's what I mean. Because the last two weeks have been pretty tough in terms of writing, and I don't know why it's been such a difficulty. It's been such a struggle. But I'm back at it, and I managed to take a plot line that I've earlier established and start seeding in into the main thrust of the story, and hopefully that will lead to some interesting, compelling drama and something for one of the three main characters to do. Because that's been the challenge that I've been dealing with right now, is that the way I've fractured these three leads, I need to make sure that there is enough story for each of them to deal with. And one of them is going to be very isolated on his own, and I, I was worried that his storyline would just be frustrating, perhaps. But I actually think this could be a really interesting story for him to go through, um, now that I've sort of figured out what the main thrust of his story might be. It actually might be like... Once I'm done with the book, it may be like the main A story of the plot. Um, just kind of depends on what percentage of the book it ends up taking up. Man, it's, it's hard to talk about this without getting into more specifics. Um, but I don't want to tell too much because, you know, spoilers and stuff. So I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, hoping just to keep doing more writing throughout the week. Um, and just try to catch up in some of the words that I've fallen behind on. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Today is Tuesday, July 16th, and I wrote 539 words. Didn't quite make it to my word goal today. I don't know why, I was just exhausted. I don't think I've been getting quite enough sleep uh, last couple nights, not for any real reason, just I've been up late, and I guess that's the reason. And today when I was writing, I was genuinely just having a hard time keeping my eyes open. And I don't think it's because the story's boring. Like, I think it'd be cool. I think the book may be cool. But I genuinely, I had to, halfway through my lunch break, I had to stop writing because I was nodding off. And I ended up going to my car and just sitting in my car for 20 minutes and just trying to close my eyes. It was about 80-ish uh, degrees today, so didn't really end up successfully sleeping in my car. Wasn't super comfortable. But now that I'm home, I'm gonna take the dog for a walk, and then I might just take a nap, because... Dang. I also, in the stuff I was writing today and yesterday, 100% contradicted something I had established earlier, so... In today's stuff, I kinda had to maybe guide it back, to make it make sense... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it works. That's it for the moment, but let's go ahead and check in with Wednesday and see what it's looking like there. Wednesday? So what are you? Two-bit con artist? Wednesday nodded. Yes, he said. I suppose I am. Among other things. Today is Wednesday, July 17th, and I wrote 1,150 words. Good to be back into the rhythm, hopefully. Um, right towards the end, I was starting to nod off a little, so I need, I need to keep getting some good sleep, but this was a good sign, I think. I think part of the reason today went so well is because it was a dialogue scene. Two people talking, and one of them was the villain. He's fun to write, and he definitely gives people a chance to do stuff. He gives the other characters something to do. I definitely think it's possible that if I wasn't already at the end of the first act, this is definitively the first act is over. Today's writing really featured a bit of a, maybe not a turn, but definitely a button to put on the story so far. It feels like what I wrote today marked a shift in the trajectory of the story. We don't know what the villain's up to, but he's definitely up to something, and I think at the end of what I wrote today, it's clear, maybe not what he's going to do, but who's going to be involved. Hopefully it ramps up the tension a little bit and gives our character something to do in the next chunk of the story. This week I also want to try to get back into outlining the wizard novel, because it has been too long and we are coming up on when I want to start that by, and I want to have some more of that figured out before we get there. If my trajectory holds, I should be finished with this book. Well, I don't know about my current trajectory, but the plan was to finish it by the end of August. And then I can just pivot and go right into the wizard novel. But I, first of all, need to pick up the pace a little bit on this book if I'm going to meet that deadline. And second, the wizard novel is something that I need to outline. That's the book that I'm currently outlining. 
And by currently, I mean I did some outlining about a month ago. And if I'm gonna start writing that thing in like a month and a half, I need some more outline figured out. So that's something I will probably be working on uh, this week. That's the plan. Other than that, not much to say. I will see you on Thursday. But you'll see me right now. In just a second. For Thursday. <gasps> Look who it is. It's Wrigley. Oh yeah, you really smell like peanut butter. <laughs> you can have your ball. It's Thursday, July 16th, and I wrote 416 words. So, less. Again, I was dealing with the same problem I've been dealing with this week. I'm just having a little bit of fatigue during my lunch break. And I don't eat right before I start writing. I eat after I'm finished. So I don't really understand where this is coming from. Like clearly it's not low blood sugar. I don't think it is anyway. I think part of the issue is that I've been very sedentary at work and I'm not necessarily taking as much time to exercise and I think maybe at that point in the day, my body is starting to feel that a little more. I think part of what I need to do is reintegrate working out into my schedule. Um, my plan was to do that after work. So next week, what I'm gonna try to do is start getting to work a little bit earlier and then going to the gym afterward and then going home. So I still am getting home early enough to walk Wrigley at a reasonable time. And hopefully just working out more will improve my general vitality and I won't be nodding off as much when I write. Also, once again, what I wrote today is starting to feel very unnecessary. I don't know if this scene is going to make it into the final cut of the book. And I think there's just an issue with this character's subplot. It's the same character who I've had that feeling about before in the last couple weeks. I have an idea, though, of how I can fix that. So next week, I'm hoping to uh, dig into his storyline and give him a little something different to do. Hopefully. But why next week? Why not tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is my girlfriend's birthday, and I'm actually going to take off work a little bit early so we can spend the whole day together. So, you know, I may do a little writing tomorrow, but I'm really not going to worry about it. Victoria and I are also trying to get into the habit of making our own meals, so tonight I made a little bit of pork, um, and I think it came out really, really well. So next week I'm going to try to cook a lot more, and, uh, you yeah, know, fingers crossed, hopefully it comes out well. That's really all I got today, though. Um, we'll be back probably not tomorrow, so potentially next week. If you like the video, leave a comment that says you liked it, and like the video with hitting the button. That's the thumbs up button. It looks like this. Like, like this, like, it looks like this. And don't forget to ring the bell, because as you all know, the bell means that the city is surrendering, and there's no reason to burn everyone alive with dragons. Bye!